Hello, I'm Robin Delaney, and welcome to my list of things that both readers and writers can get out of conferences. Now, the RWA conference is right around the corner, so a lot of us authors on our channels, on our blogs, uh, on Twitter, everywhere are talking about the RWA conference. Uh, RWA is not a readers' conference, so that's not really what I'm going to talk about today. Although this will pertain to that too for those of you who do belong to RWA and who are planning to attend that conference. But I'm going to talk about conferences in general. The number one thing that any reader will get out of a conference, and any writer, books. Lots and lots and lots of books. All free and all signed. Well, not all signed. Mostly signed. Sometimes signed. Depends on whether or not you're willing to wait for them to be signed on whether or not you meet enough authors as you're wandering around that happen to have their books or you have their books or, you know. But anyways, you get some signed books, which is awesome because everyone loves signed books uh, and everyone loves free books, at least every reader. I'm sure there are people out there that wouldn't love free books. Definitely if you do go, you want to be discerning on which books you want or have a plan for how to ship them home. Unless you live locally, you may end up with more than you can fit in your bags. Another thing you can get out of conferences, meeting your favorite author. I've met some wonderful authors at conferences. I've met Sherry Adair, I've met um, Julia Quinn, I've met online authors that I have dealt with personally like Samantha Grace and Erin Knightley. I've met, you know, new authors to check out like at my last conference I met Heather Snow. You can meet not only authors that you read regularly, but also new authors that you can become friends with and discover great new books. Another thing that you can find at conferences, whether you're a reader or a writer, is wonderful friends. You can find bloggers, other readers that will share their reviews, that will follow your blog if you have one, people who will just share your enthusiasm for reading and your love of books. And going to the publisher spotlights, can get you not only free books, but also um, a view into what publishers are looking at, what they're looking for, and where they're going in the future years. A lot of conferences have author meet and greets. Some, uh, like RT Convention, uh, Romantic Times Convention, have a lot of really fun reader events where authors will host the event and it will be like a game or they'll give prizes away. Uh, you know, you play bingo with, with, you know, cards that have the pictures of all their books on them or, you know, get beads and candy and all kinds of fun stuff. So there are a lot of reasons to go to a convention other than just if you are an author looking to go to the workshops. So I would suggest if you're a reader and you really love reading, I would definitely suggest getting yourself to a book convention because even if you don't need to learn anything about writing, even if you just want to enjoy yourself, you have the signings, the, the classes, you have the books, you have the people, you have the authors. There's so much there. Those of you who are writers, happy writing and for those of you who are readers, happy reading.